I'm in the mood. I'm going to just do a quick update. <laughs> That's what it is. Okay. Um, big developments. I've footed that long heat mat underneath the cables. It finishes one tube into the crew Antartus. Um, I put white paper on it because I couldn't see the ants. Um, and it stretches over the side. doesn't go all the way over the outworld bit of those Venuses. doesn't reach the uh, messes. So this, elf, this shelf is all changed really. I wanted to get, see the probe is on the actual mat. And uh, I'm still not completely settled on everything at the moment, but basically the big winners have been the Nikos, I think. They were hovering around 28, 29 ish, 28 and a half, I suppose. But then it could drop to sort of 22 or less overnight, the way things are set up with that heat cable. And now things are like constant, or not completely constant, but not far off. However, it's lower. It's only at 25 at the moment, but I only really see it about 26, just over 26 at the maximum. Um, and they've been really active. They had a hot... I did it on Sunday, you see, all this putting heat mats and trying to monitor it and stuff. Uh, ended up, I think I fried two of their workers, unfortunately, in there. And when you've only got seven, two is not good. But the ones that have been left have been really active and chilling out in this outworld and, you know, not acted like that in a long time, so something has pleased them, I would say. But the losers in this situation are the Auraventurous, they're not getting as hot again. I don't know how hot it is down that tube down there, and it's over the heat mat. But it's touching the tube, so that's keeping it off the mat. I wish I'd taken the tube out to get the heat, yeah, the heat cable out, to be honest. The brood used to be down this end, and they've had it in there, and they've moved it over there, and back over here, and I can't see very well in that middle one. It's not a huge amount of brood, really, at the moment, compared to what they have had. It's there. It is there. They've been hatching a few out recently. Um, they're connected with this link to this Gen 3. Um, I've, I've just steamed it up. That's my fault, because it um, doesn't need to be like this. The invention worked in there. So that one there, I can just put the water in there, and it uh, humidifies this thing straight away, but it's a bit too efficient, because there's a heat cable underneath it. Um, so I'm, I'm, <laughs> I just need to put a tiny drop in, really. And that water feeder there isn't on... Isn't on a... It's on the heat mat now. It wasn't on anything before, so that might not be helping. But I've... I've yeah. Got a decent amount of springtails in there at the moment as well. So that's why I want to get nice and humid. And, well, these aren't like it anyway. So they won't move into there. One problem with those bamboo things, they've got their faults. And I've found that... Loads of springtails is the answer to those faults. If you see what I mean, there's springtails in that tube now. You just don't, don't let the springtails run out. And there's never any mould problems or anything. Um, but the other problem is the ants love it. <laughs> you can't get them to move out. So I've had, I've had a few in this before. But I think we've just got to wait. And it could take months and months. The Tetramorium by Carrion Artem have been really cool, to be honest. Um, I'll come back to those. The phone might run out of power. <laughs> So here's the uh, big girls. I think they've got too much reflection in. I've seen in there. It's arched over the moment. But I think that could be some eggs in the background there. I honestly think it's possible there. You see there? Um, it's possible. I've not had her that long. This is the new development on them as well. She was at an angle at the back of this tank. And I decided that she was too high up in the tank for the temperature. Down here now. I'm getting around. I want it to be over 25. But it's, you know, it's more consistent around this. I don't think it's dropping below 24 now. When I was at night time, it was getting cold before. So I must be a bit more happy. Um, at the back there, swap places. Parius is now here and has survived all this messing about when he came up with a heat, uh, heat map. And the Turkestanus, can I get a picture of her? Well, she's alive. She's got a bit of heat mat just under one of the tubes, the tube she's in actually. And the rest aren't under the heat mat. Um, yeah. And these these are the Pierce the Resistance. I filmed them actually hunting these um, springtails earlier on today. It was cool. We've got, uh, I found they love to hang out in the end of that water tube. Like, you know, I was in 15 at a time, so I thought, right, humidity, so. And I wanted to see what, you know, how they'd react to sort of springtails anyway. So I put these, they probably had, I don't know, five, six hundred springtails on there. There's not as many now, so maybe they have been eating them. 
I've got them on video earlier on. Two of them, two queens chasing up and down that rock. And they literally, it just woofs it down. <laughs> woofs down the springtail. I, you know, like all in one, I didn't think ants could do that really. But yeah, hard to even choose, just go straight down. So yeah, which is good to know. But they'll use it as a food source. Um, I'll video this. The brood has gone really well. The flash isn't on at the moment because the battery on this phone. Oh yeah, you get a good view of the view brew there. That's just stuff on the floor. Can we get one aside? I don't know. And we've had ants definitely moved into here. I don't know if there's any there right now. What we're seeing. There's one there. There's one. So that's another residence that's been humidified. Um, I've had them in the tubes today. Well, I'm still zoomed in, that's what. So these are the... Uh, ones that aren't heated and uh, they, yeah, they've been in there today we've been playing about in them more than I have for a while I think they're thinking about it I don't know what that is but yeah very pleased with the textures today that's a piece of chicken because I thought I'd try them on that and put a few dead fruit flies in that they've not touched them I just don't think they're hungry today and that's a super worm which I've not really seen them eating much of you might just not be hung well there's not many springtails there. <laughs> yeah. Maybe that's what they've been doing. That was, that's what happened with the Oraventurous. They went off protein well, it seems, but then there was hardly any springtails left after not very long. So I think these are a springtail killer type. Um, yeah. Oh, and up here. We forgot. So this is my weird colony. I don't know if you even see is that one? That's one there. You're, it's rare to even see one, okay? I think that's about one and a half millimetres, and maybe two. I do have some close up photos of these. It's very rare to see one. I keep thinking they've died out and they haven't. I had a late last year. They came in that stick with this moss attached to it, which I picked for another tank. On the way home, I noticed some tiny little ants crawling around. Stuck them in here, it's just got a little vent in the top. Um, and it didn't have any kind of substrate at all, but I've put that tissue in, because at least I can sort of see them. They're, they're almost invisible, these ants. I don't know what they are. Um, well, I'm about to click, click anyway. Yeah, and the region I just quickly over here. Doing well, doing well. Um, I can't really talk about them, because the battery's about to go. And the Lazarus and Niger are all piled up on this shelf as well now. So, that's five test tube colonies, uh, tubs and tubes colonies. I think another, I don't know, five or six in there and two flavours in that box and then there's tanks and things that are going to be making special nests and all sorts up there got some uh, bits and bobs in yeah so there you are <laughs> Just, I, tell you what it's, I don't know what I've done wittering on um, with no flash it's probably rubbish I'm not sort of zooming around but yeah so, I've not, so I'm slightly disappointed in the size of my world interest with colony at the moment it's smaller than I expect it to be um, but I haven't found many dead ones so, I don't know. We'll see. I think humidity and the springtails should get the brood going again. And this, but they're the ones who've got the temperatures lower now, and they wanted it higher. I'm setting the parius at the back there. It's going to be set at 29. I'm getting a new uh, sensor tomorrow, um, which will bring these ones. It's on a heat mat, big heat mat in here now. Got to say, yeah. Um, that heat mat I've been adjusting separately, but it's still set through the same thermostat, so I just can't risk it. So I want them over 25 at least, and them over 29 at least at the back. That's what the, sen the sensor is in with the Paris Queen, but it's not in the tube. And these will just sort of benefit from whatever heat they get. That's the plan. Um, yeah. I won't, I, I could go on for ages, but I won't mention that. Oh, here's, here's. I've got, uh, yeah, I'll, t I'll do some videos anyway. I'll try and release the uh, texture of I carry a martin actually eating springtails, so that was cool. Like, goop. Anyway, bye for now.